Um, the White House said that the president uh, wouldn't abuse his faith for political purposes. Does the president think that's what Republicans are doing? I mean, look, uh, just a couple of things. And uh, really um, so surprised by the misinformation that's been out there around this. And I want to be very clear. Every year for the past several years, on March 31st, Trans Transgender Day of Visibility is marked. And as we know, for folks who understand the calendar and how it works, Easter falls on different Sundays, right? Every year. So the Biden administration says that Christians should not have been caught up in the frenzy because Transgender Visibility Day fell on Easter. That it was the Republicans who were pushing this misinformation. That Christians are just misinformed that Christians are ignorant. Don't they know that it's transgender visibility day, that that trumps the resurrection of Jesus? Don't they know that a made up day by a radical member of the alphabet mafia trumps Easter? Does the president think that's what Republicans are doing? I mean, look, just a couple of things. And uh, really um, so, surprised by the misinformation that's been out there around this and i want to be very clear every year for the past several years on march 31st trans transgender day of visibility is marked and as we know for folks who understand the calendar and how it works easter falls on different sundays so christians get it together your day falls on different sundays it just so happened to fall on transgender visibility day don't you bigots understand that you have to worship the religion of the alphabet mafia? Don't you know that Christianity is no longer to be worshiped here in America? Don't you bigots know that? Don't you Christians know that? You're so hurtful. You're so full of hate. You Christians that walk around here saying you're full of love. Don't you know you're full of hate? Just like the three Hebrew boys were supposed to bow when the sound of the trumpet was played to the golden image of Nebuchadnezzar. Don't you know that? You're supposed to bow, bend the knee, you Christians. Right, every year. And this year it happened to coincide with trans, uh, Transgender Visibility Day. Get your act together, you Christians. Don't you understand? Transgender Visibility Day. Say it with me, Transgender Visibility Day. This is the day that we hide all of the sacrifices made by the alphabet mafia. And this time we hide the transgender portion of that. Don't you know, this is more important than your resurrected Lord. That's not important. And so that is the simple fact. That is what has happened. That is where we are. And I do want to say a couple of things because I think it's important here. Uh, as you just stated in your questions, what we've been hearing out there, a lot of misinformation done on purpose. Uh, and as a Christian, uh, who celebrates Easter with family. Now, she said she's a Christian. She's about to talk about Joe Biden being a Christian, but we'll see what kind of Christian Joe Biden is. President Biden stands for bringing people together and upholding the dignity and freedoms of every American. I've read in my Bible, as a matter of fact, I just read it. What Jesus said, he came to bring a sword. Jesus came to bring division. There's a line of demarcation when it comes to a faith in Jesus Christ and you follow him. See, Jesus said, put your hand to the plow and look back. You're not fit for the kingdom. Jesus said he came to bring a sword. He came to set one against another because you cannot follow him half heartedly. You cannot pick and choose what you want out of the word of God to conform the word of God to you. No, we're supposed to conform to the image of his son, the firstborn among many brethren. We're supposed to make sure that we transform by the renewing of our minds. We don't transform the word to fit us. We change to fit the word, period. Now, sadly, and it's not surprising, right? It is actually unsurprising that politicians are seeking to divide and weaken our country. With I'm gonna translate. When they say seeking to divide, you know what they're saying? They're saying these people are not getting on board with our religion. These people are being obstinate. These people are being resistant to the transformation that we want to make in this land. 
because they still believe in Jesus. They still believe in God. They still call themselves real Christians. They're not like the Christians we like, the ones that are scared and timid, the ones that let us do whatever we want, the ones that think that you should, as a Christian, not be involved in, in public policy. You shouldn't be involved. You shouldn't speak out in public. Those are the kind of Christians that they like. They don't like Christians that are bold for Jesus. They don't like those kind of Christians. Those Christians make too much trouble for them and their agenda. Hateful and dishonest rhetoric. It is dishonest what we have heard the past 24 hours. It is untrue what we heard over the weekend. And I said this at the top of my answer, Transgender Day of Visibility is on March 31st. This year, March 31st just so happens to be also Easter, the date of which changes every year. That's how I started out and that's how I end. That is so disingenuous. They knew that March 31st was going to be Easter this year. So all you had to do was to not proclaim or to highlight or to magnify Transgender Day of Visibility. This is done by choice. See, that's what they don't want you to know. This is done by choice. Who compelled Joe Biden to release that, to make that proclamation? Nobody. Nobody compelled him to do that. He didn't have to do that this year. But to continue to bash Christianity, continue the spiritual battle against Christianity that he's being used as a puppet by the enemy, the spiritual forces behind him, he's being used to continue the war, continue the attack on real Christianity. He happened to highlight Transgender Visibility Day this year and make a big deal out of it. He's the one making a big deal out of it. But it doesn't hurt when you have so-called pastors like Raphael Warnock defending this. Republicans are attacking President Biden for recognizing today as Transgender Day of Visibility. I want to be very clear. This day, this Transgender Day of Visibility is always on March 31st, has been since 2009. This president has marked it every year since he's been in the White House. The date of Easter changes year to year. Boy, I tell you, they got their talking points down pat. She said this yesterday and Corrine Jean-Pierre mentioned the same thing at the podium today. They must really think you're stupid, Christians. They must really think, they must really think you don't understand that Joe Biden didn't have to say anything about this transgender visibility day. Just because he's marked it ever since he's been president doesn't mean he has a market this year when it falls on Easter. But they think you're stupid. That's why they're doing this stuff. I don't need to tell you that. The House Speaker called Biden's announcement abhorrent and said he betrayed the central tenant of Easter. What do you say to that? Well, apparently uh, the speaker finds trans people abhorrent. And uh, I, I think he ought to think about that. Uh, the, the fact of the matter is, as you said, March uh, 31st uh, uh, has been a day to, to lift up transgender people who endure uh, violence uh, and bigotry. Easter, the date changes every single day, but this is just one more instance. First of all, pastor, Yes, the date changes every single year, not every single day. And you as a pastor, see, this is one of those dudes I call the church plants. The ones that have kept the black community in their place, in bondage for so long because they're doing the will of the Democratic Party. This dude is a church plant. He's not there to represent the gospel of Jesus Christ. He's there to represent the Democratic Party, its agenda, its ideology. He's there as a social justice pastor. He's not there representing the true gospel of Jesus Christ. That's why he can repeat the same talking points that Dana Bash just said and that Kareem Jean-Pierre has said. That is sad. That is sad. Of folks who, who have, who do not know how to lead us, try to divide us. And this is the opposite of the Christian faith. Jesus centered the marginalized. He centered the poor and no, Jesus is not centered and marginalized. Jesus came for everybody. He did not just come for the marginalized. That is a social justice term, marginalized. Who are the marginalized? You know, Jesus had a tax collector as part of his disciples. Was he marginalized? Peter and James and John and the rest, they were fishermen. Were they marginalized? See, you have to see through the lies that people like Raphael Warnock push. You have to be discerning because these people are twisting scripture. They're twisting things around to appeal to your emotions. 
especially black people. They're doing this to appeal to our emotions because they say black people have been oppressed. Black people have been marginalized in this country. So therefore you must support the marginalized folks. You must support things that go against your faith. You must support things that do not line up with the gospel, that do not line up with the word of God because you're here for the marginalized. You must support the marginalized. Jesus came for the marginalized. Jesus came for the oppressed. He, Jesus came for the sinners and called them to repentance. He didn't come for marginalized folks. He came for everybody. Uh, in a moment like this, we need voices, particularly voices of faith, uh, who would use our faith not as a, a weapon uh, to beat other people down, but as a bridge to bring all of us together. Uh, that is what Martin Luther King Jr. did, and uh, I'm honored to preach from that pulpit every single day. It is a faith that, that guides me in my work uh, as a United States senator, trying to cap the cost of insulin so folks can afford it, trying to make sure first-time homeowners can buy a home, and that our children are not so awash in student debt that they have a mortgage before they have a mortgage. Uh, this is how my faith informs me every single day. That is straight up social justice, socialism, Marxism talk. That is how your faith informs you. You are right about that, sir. That is how your faith informs you. Your faith informs you to support things that are contrary to American ideals, things that are contrary to the word of God, because the Bible says a man does not work, he should not eat, that are contrary to the truth of the gospel. But because you've been brought up in this social justice lane of churchianity, of fake Christianity, then you support those kind of things that you know are a detriment. And you won't speak out about those things that are a detriment to your community. You won't speak out about the lack of fathers in the home. You won't speak out about how the Democratic Party through Lyndon Baines Johnson has destroyed the community, the black family by dividing the home, by kicking the dad at the house. You won't talk about how the Democratic Party has intentionally sabotaged the black community through programs that lead to dependence on the government. You won't talk about those things because it does not behoove you to talk about those things because those are things that your party supports. And your party supports the destruction of biblical marriage. Your party supports the destruction of lives through these lies that they push through transgenderism. Your party supports those things that are anti-God anti-biblical and yet you call yourself a pastor but this should not be a surprise joe biden picks and chooses what he believes as a catholic do you get a sense that his regular attendance and adherence to the faith resonates with american catholics i would say that he's very sincere about his faith but like a number of catholics he picks and chooses dimensions of the faith to highlight while ignoring or even contradicting other parts. There, there is a phrase that uh, we have used in the past, a cafeteria Catholic. You choose that which is attractive and dismiss that which is challenging. Or as Thomas Aquinas would say, you, you allow your conscience to guide you. Is, right? there, is there something on the menu he's why she say that? You should never let your conscience guide you. The Holy Spirit is your God. The word of God is your God. Your conscience can deceive you. That was a little odd. Odd ordering in your view? Well, so I, to speak. I, I would say there are things, especially in terms of the life issues, mm -hmm. there are things that he chooses to ignore or he uses the uh, the current situation as a political pawn. Everyone celebrated Transgender Day of Visibility. I want you to know that your president sees you. Jill, Kamala, Doug, our entire administration sees you for who you are, made in the image of God and deserving of dignity, respect, and support. Christians, you're just misinformed. It wasn't a big deal that Joe Biden decided to highlight transgender day of visibility over Easter? That's not a big deal. You're just misinformed. Calm down, 
Go back to your little corner where we've pushed you. Go back to the marginalized corners of American society where we want you to be. Stay in your place, Christians.